it's a company that um, is targeting the NFL, NBA, and uh, NCAA for training. Um, so our one VR investment today is the next VR in live sports. AI. One investment we had that did something interesting in VR was Birchbox. I don't know if any of you are customers, but they shipped out uh, a couple hundred thousand uh, cardboard headsets before the New York Times did, which was interesting. I'll tell you that the one company that we didn't invest in that I liked a lot was called Baobob. Uh, they're in San Francisco, and people from Zynga as well as DreamWorks, they're trying to, you know, you could describe them as a Pixar of VR. There are several of those that describe themselves that way. Um, but you know, an interesting combination of content and technology for like building the tools that they need to have to build content the way they want to have it. And there are, I think, a lot of similarities to what, what Pixar did in early days. Uh, so our one investment is Little Star. There was a company we looked really carefully at called FaceShift uh, that, that was going to enable a lot of things that was talked about here, kind of really lifelike avatars that behave, look, and more importantly, behave like a person does that we were pretty interested in, and then Apple bought them. I get one to nod. San Francisco based Googlers 3D VR input software. Um, okay, how do, you, how do people approach you? Uh, and a quick prediction, and then we're done. People approach, I think, most VCs in all sorts of ways, but the most successful way is probably through a warm introduction from either another VC or a founder we've worked with in the past. That should be come as news to anybody who's an entrepreneur in the room, hopefully. Uh, predictions, I think we've all talked a lot about consumer, but even in VR, I think there are pretty interesting enterprise use cases, some of which were kind of alluded to earlier with 3D modeling, uh, real estate touring, eco-tourism uh, from the you know, comfort of your own home, et cetera. And so I think it'll be surprising that in one year, some of the key use book cases and successful companies that are generating revenue may be in the enterprise space. What was the question? How to approach it? That's How to approach it. It's in your yeah, the, We're on LA time. Give us yeah, this. sorry. Um, warm introduction, I mean, there's, there's no secret to that. I mean, a warm introduction is always better than someone uh, cold, but it's not saying, uh, you know, listen to somebody cold. It just gives you credibility if there's someone else watching for you, if you don't know you. And for a prediction, I think I've, I've mentioned it before, I think it, within the next couple of years, there will be a point where everyone wonders if this is really a good platform or not, because there will be a bunch of junk put on this platform and then it will clear itself out and this will be a true platform in the future. Yeah. Um, warm intro again. Um, we, know, we all know a lot of people in the industry. Hopefully you guys know some of them as well. So um, it always best to get through channels. Uh, prediction, I think you know, in five years, like Chris mentioned, I think mobile and AR will be the uh, widespread platform. I think people will be looking at AR or VR content as often as they look at the phone, which is a day. I think people will just live with AR content superimposed around the real world all the time. Uh, and it'll replace people just looking at their phone uh, all day long. Again, warm intro. Uh, you can do LinkedIn as well, but warm intro is better. Um, prediction, I think in the next 24 months, it's going to be gaming and short form as in sub 10 minutes, 7 minute uh, kind of content for VR that, that's going to work. I don't see the 90 minute 25 minute or 40 minute uh, show anytime soon. E email is best for me and most VCs I know. Referrals through someone we know and trust is always good. I'd also say most of the uh, inquiries I get, there's no evidence that they've ever even looked at our website. Huh. All that there is evidence is that they have a company, an idea, and they know that we have money. Uh, but so I'd encourage you to do a little, a little work of why this might be a fit for a firm or a particular partner. And I think like a prediction is like, I think we're at this ridiculously interesting time for VR literally right now that it's all happening and becoming real. And you know, in the next quarter, people are gonna get their first uh, Oculus Rift sets and HTC vibes at their home. And I think I'll predict by, like, by Christmas this year, you'll go to people's homes and there will be like VR dens and uh, just like home theaters in the early days and they'll show them off and show you their favorite content and dedicate space in the rooms and have high-end sets.
that up to me then. Uh, I'm going to flip the answers because the first answer might be for the second. Uh, you know, I think at the end of this year, I'm not sure, I believe it would be our but I do think, uh, you know, gaming, sports, and journalism probably have established their legitimacy. Uh, I think, as we all probably agree, the, the kind of storytelling, anything over 10 minutes and definitely over half an hour, it, again, the ecosystem isn't quite there yet, but I, I think we're hopefully making meaningful steps towards that, which brings me to the second point. Uh, well, obviously, War Mentor is always best, but I'm, I'm particularly interested in people who are figuring out how to monetize non-branded, non-sports, non-journalism, non-gaming content. So if you have a company that's doing that, uh, come find me. But yeah, otherwise, War Mentor, email, my, my prediction, one of you already mentioned it, I, I believe this very strongly, is that training is going to be a huge space for, for VR. Corporate training, individual training. Um, I think more so for AR, AR especially for the training. Yeah, listen, everybody says that, but I get a little bit of an argument about that because in AR, I'd rather lift the heart out to see under the VR. I'd rather lift the heart out in VR and look under the VR. Because that's a, but, but, but people I respect have had that exact. That exact response. Uh, you guys have been great. I'm sure these folks are willing to hang around and take some questions from you. Thank you very much.